Okay, today we're going to be reviewing the sponge. Finally, a little late, but we're going to get into this video ASAP. So here we go. Hey, my beautiful people. Welcome back to Alize's Beauty. I know this is long overdue, but I definitely want to do a quick review about the Beauty Blender Sponge from When and Wow. Right over here. I think the packaging is so cute. It retails for $3.99. So bam, now let's see if this sucker really does a job or it does not. Usually I use my Real Techniques, which is this one, and I love this one. And I compared this one to the Beauty Blender before. And honestly, to me, I like I prefer this one, honestly. I didn't see too much of a difference. So I was like, eh, you might just go with this one. The quality is good when it comes to that. So now I want to see how this one does. So obviously about the same size, but I love that this one is a different shape. And I, this is my first impression. I can get this little lighting going. First impression for that one. So let's go ahead and open this up. See how it looks. I have to bring it out to you guys. So let's see. Sorry, I should be more prepared than this, but bam, there it goes. All right. And I love the shape. I think it's pretty cute. So it looks like this. And it has the wet and wild on there. You guys can see right there. Bam. I like it. So it has like that little funny shape. Look at this. The little funny shape like that. I think it's super cute so you'll be able to go underneath the eye either you want to do the bottom contouring or you want to do your foundation you know it's all up to you so i'm gonna pause for a quick second before i start using this i can see how it goes but if you notice the shape right now how it looks but i'm gonna go ahead and get this one wet real quick and i'm gonna go ahead and just do the bang it underneath my eyes so i'll be right back give me a couple seconds all right all right so my people i'm back i went ahead and wet the sponge so it feels nice and soft. It's not rough or anything. And it really doubled the size or tripled the size, which is really cute. I love it. I love it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do my concealer because I'm going to go ahead and bake. I usually don't use the sponge for my foundation. I usually use a brush, but I do like to bake with a sponge. So I'm going to use my LA Pro in yellow concealer, which is this one. And I'm going to just go ahead underneath the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick for you. Do, 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 do. Just apply it. And the only thing I have on right now is just my foundation and eyebrows. That's all I have at the moment. So, let's see how this goes. Alright. So, and this is like I said in the color yellow. Alright. Put this over here for the moment. Now, let's go ahead. And I'm going to use this side. So, not the flat side, but I'm going to use this side right over here. Alright. So, let's get into it. Let's see how this feels. Huh. Nice. You're not bad. All right. I like. So far, I like. It's blending really nicely. All right. Huh. Let's try the other side. All right. Go ahead and blend. All right. I like that. I like that. So sorry if you guys are hearing noise in the background as well. We do have company over today, so we're going to be a little tad loud. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my shape tape, which is a tart, which is this one right over here. And this one is in the color medium sand 34S, just in case you were wondering because you're around my shade. All right, so let me go ahead and apply this one. All right, just in case you're wondering why I do both. One is kind of more like a corrector. And the other one is more of the concealer. So, obviously, the shape tip will be more of a concealer for me. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this one over here. And I'm going to go again and blend that sucker in. Let's see. All right. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and go on my eye as well. Da, 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 da. Bam. So far, it feels nice and soft. Doesn't feel rough at all. And it's doing a nice job blending. So... Honestly, I'm not complaining right now, huh? Pretty good. All right. Like it, like it so far. All right. I like. So far, the blending is really good. It's not bad. The blending is going. All right. Nice and smooth, nice and even. And it doesn't feel like mainly products is on the on the sponge like you can see a little bit if you notice but it's not horrible which is not bad like i said you can use the other one if you want to bake this way as well get the corners if you want all right but i prefer the rounder side for me i like it personally just like this i don't know let me see the bottom huh let's get both ways are nice huh. 
Love it. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my powder. And I use the Kati Air Spun, which is this one, right over here. I know a lot of people like the Laura Mercy Air, but I feel like this one gives me a brighter look. And for my oily skin, I just love it. I feel like it works best for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on here. Go ahead and bake. Bake that puppy. And in case people are wondering what is baking, basically just putting powder underneath the eye and letting it sit for 15 or more minutes. And basically what that does, makes your concealer not crease and stay smooth throughout the day, which is really nice. All right, let's see. All right, well, I like it so far, not bad. Hmm. So if you see, you see my powder, you're like, what in the world is going on? But yep, if you're going to put powder, obviously, anywhere else, you can go ahead. But so far, I love the coverage. It feels nice and soft, nice and squeegee. Like, I like it. The quality feels really excellent, like high-end. It feels like the beauty blender in a way, to be honest. It's nice and soft. So, and then later, I will tell you if it's so if it's easy to wash. Because all my sponges I have are easy to wash, something I love. So, all right, so I'm going to come back with my final thoughts and what I think. Let me just finish. Go ahead and do my makeup, and I'll be right back with you guys. Bye-bye. See you later, me. <laughs> okay, my beautiful people. So, we are back. Finished doing my little glam a little bit. In case you're wondering what I'm wearing, it is a Soul Treat palette. Believe me, I've been so excited to get this palette. Finally, when it went on sale, you know, your girl had to snatch that up. So, but anyways, so the Win and Wild sponge that reached us at $3.99. Is it a yay or is it a nay? It is definitely a yay for me. I highly, highly, highly recommend this sponge. It is so soft, so flexible. Coverage is just excellent. Not cheap at all. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be easy to wash. So definitely, definitely. If you're looking for a good quality sponge, I highly recommend this one. And if you're wondering how does it compare to the Real Techniques one, I like excellent. I would say the only difference for me when it comes to real techniques and this one for me will be just the shape in general. So if you don't like the shape, then obviously most likely you're gonna go with the real techniques. But if you prefer the shape to contour like your nose or certain areas, or if you like to do as foundation, me personally I just like to bake, but I highly recommend this one. I love it. I love it. Definitely love it. The only thing I hope they come with like a little case, like the real techniques does, because I love that because once you know, I want to travel, put it in my makeup bag. I want it to go, like, in a little container. But beyond that, you know, it's all good. It's all good. All right, so don't forget, you're beautiful no matter what. And thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.